this is what I find a little bit harrowing. Here, you you have this. I I think you got you got Flynn in there, obviously, who is a a huge uh, Islamophobe. You've got yeah. Bannon, who is on uh, record talking to you know he made this ground zero or whatever it was documentary and there was a piece i think it was in time yeah. time magazine maybe about someone who a professor who was in the documentary uh but he's a, he's a left-leaning professor but he was talking about these two um uh, uh, prof uh professors who are uh, philosophers who had this theory about every 80 years um, there's a there's an up a social upheaval. Tom Hartman actually talks about it too, and he was in conversations with Bannon, and Bannon's quite convinced that there has to be a major major conflict. And so, you're starting to see like I my concern is that all this supposed anti-Semitism that they are reflecting, you know, where uh, you know CNN has got like a chiron on there, you know, saying that uh, you know white supremacists, you know, questions whether Jews are people, that this is going to pivot to some very intense Islamophobia. And here's what scares me: when you see a guy like Reince Priebus, who is dancing around this stuff, this is when you start to wonder like. This seems to be a principle that is operative in the Trump White House. Listen to uh, Reince Priebus here uh, 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 responding to Martha Raddatz. And, and let's, let's talk about another retired general, and that would be uh, Mike Flynn, who he has chosen as national security advisor. He is highly admired for his work as an intelligence officer, but he has a history of controversial views about Islam. He said in an interview in July and at a conference in August that Islam is not a real religion, but a political ideology masked behind a religion. Is he in line with how President-elect Trump views Islam? Well, I think so. I mean, look, uh, phrasing can always be done differently, but clearly there are some aspects of that faith that are problematic, and we know them. We've seen it. But it certainly isn't a blanket for all people of that faith. But, Mike... I mean, would we, would, would we as a country be, be uh, up in arms if people were saying, like, there's some problematic aspects of, 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 of Christianity. I mean, they would never oh, say of course, anything. Of like course, that. there's always a double standard, Sam. There's always a double standard. It's very elastic. You're never allowed to criticize uh, Christianity, things like that. It's totally. And you know what else bothers me? How many times you have to hear these pundits, political operatives, uh, say the word "look," which means they're about to be an apologist for this right-wing nonsense. It's, anytime you look, hey, what look? They all do it. It, 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 it's madness. And these things aren't controversial. Has, Mike Flynn has controversial. It's not controversial. It's not controversial, meaning reasonable people can disagree. It is straight up ludicrous. And, it, and there should be zero tolerance for this nonsense. And that's the problem with corporate media. That's always been a problem with corporate media. We can go all the way back to the first printing press, I'm sure. This is not new, that they uh, are passive observers of history as it's being rewritten and put into a narrow frame. Most of the people who work at places like CNN, NBC, ABC, uh, I would say are apolitical to some degree or else they couldn't stomach working there, right? Yeah. There, there's, you know, there's all kinds of people who work in these media um, media uh, situations in these newsrooms who wouldn't be able to stomach going to work every day if they truly cared, if they were truly involved, or if they truly had an opinion they were willing to share. Now, the only thing I was thinking about the anti-Semitism that may uh, move, uh, advance the ball somehow is that there are so many powerful uh, Jewish people in government and the media, uh, like APAC, who will not stand for yeah. it. Now they they will let other racism go by, right? But this one, you know, they'll let misogyny go. They'll let uh, 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 racism against other people go, Islamophobia go. 
But if you're going to be anti-Semitic, then APAC will be there to well, stop Well, I'll you. tell you something. This is this is like, you know, this, uh, and maybe it's a good time to start taking some uh, calls and playing some, some voicemails that we have. But, like, that would be one thing that I would suggest, depending on what your family background is. Because I'm quite convinced that, you know, if, if, if enough uh, Jews send around enough letters, it will hit one of the 22 percent of 25 uh, percent of Jews that don't uh, consistently vote, let's say, for the Democrats. And it'll it, uh -huh. it, and I think like those of those 25 percent, I think like, you know, three quarters of them are just uh, are, are donors to uh, uh -huh. to Republicans that maybe they'll react to that. But I think the way that they talk about uh, attacking Muslims may just trumpet uh for, forgive the uh, the pun but let's i don't know sam that's what i'm saying is like like i said they're willing to let islamophobia go they're willing to you know the tea party and that's another thing this isn't new this racism the 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 republican party has been the party of racism since the 60s since the split during the civil rights right. era and they have been and there's no uh you know uh, to me it is so obvious where nixon was coming from where ronald reagan was coming from where the bushes were coming from the republican party has been a a, a home base for racist and misogynist thinking for years and years and years now there it's you know where reagan announced when he was running for president you know where the uh, the civil rights workers were murdered. That is not an accident. There is this law and order vote that is always thrown out there. They have been the party of race baiting and dog whistles for years and years and years. This is not new. This is just more, more, more explicit. Obvious. Hey, it's Sam Cedar. Why don't you uh, subscribe to this channel? You can do so right, uh, right over here. Uh, so over. Subscribe.